there's been a lot of speculation from people who who aren't there, who weren't there, um, about what may have happened. Even people who don't believe you shot and killed Angel believe that you were there mm -hmm. and that perhaps as a county commissioner, a married county commissioner in your county truck, you saw her shoot herself and panicked. Not in the least. Um, speaking with Mr. Nisley, who I described that to him, uh, that if I did see her, I would have stopped, I would have picked her up, I would have been very distraught. Um, it was just something that happened obviously in split seconds. I had just taken that turn. Um, again, the people who were standing in the street that I passed four times, once coming back from the beach, twice leaving, third time coming back to get my wallet, and the fourth time leaving, um, showed no angst whatsoever. I mean, I saw them all standing on the sidewalk. And so I saw it with their dogs and, and saw the same people four times. Um, so no. Can you look at me and look at the camera and say you did not kill Angel Downs? Absolutely. I did not shoot, harm, or kill Angel Downs. Is there anything else you want to say? Brad, I know you've cut, Brad's been covering it. Well, yeah, I mean, you are a, a, a I, good point. Well, that's. Well, One not talking about the case itself. Yeah. Let me, mm -hmm. it, you know, let me ask the question if, if you can't answer it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think you can. Uh, you'll be sentenced at the end of this month, and mm -hmm. my understanding is that the sentencing will go forward in, in mm -hmm. spite of the state case not being resolved. There is a good chance that you will serve some time in prison, that you will go to prison at the end of the month. Do you think of that? Well, obviously. I mean, I think that um, you know I've accepted my responsibility. Um, I do believe um, this is my first um, foray into the federal court system. Um, did not realize how um, tedious they are as far as making sure things are done on time. And so I just have to take what the judge uh, doles out and accept that responsibility and move forward. Does anything about going to prison scare you? Well, again, you know, I had the pleasure, uh, <laughs> unpleasure, I should say, of being in, you know, Baldwin County Jail for six weeks. And um, I could tell you it was the best six weeks of my life. And because I, when I walked in, a guard handed me a Bible. And I sat there and read that Bible for six straight weeks, and as I continued to do. And um, if there's lessons, to, there are valuable lessons to be learned uh, from all this. And at one time when I'm right and uh, this is finished, I'm hoping uh, I can give the testimony from, to men and young men alike on how not to screw up your life. And uh, you can do a lot of good um, and go through life as I have for 47 years. And then it can all come crashing down real quickly. You can have everything in the world and it can all be taken away, except for one thing, and that's your faith in God. And um, I know that I have that. I know I can go, um, and hopefully I will go to heaven, and have my conscience clear on this whole matter. And I truly believe that. And I want my son to grow up and have just a, as strong a faith. I want him to get over this. It's been very painful on Christopher. Um, and uh, <clears throat> he's the one, he's the innocent one. Uh, in this whole thing, and um, it's just tough on a 15-year-old young man who loves his father, who loved Angel, uh, loves his mother, uh, but he has a strong faith in God too, and I know um, I'm thankful that uh, the community has wrapped him up in his arm, in, in their arms, and have protected him. You, you said early on that uh, early on in this interview that Judy Newcomb owed the Downs family and the Nodine family apologies. Mm -hmm. Do you owe? apologies to the Downs family and to your own family? Well, I mean, there's no doubt I owe an apology for carrying on uh, as we have in a wrong uh, relationship for that long. Um, there's no doubt about that. But I want uh, Miss Thelma and Susan and uh, Angel's dad and her, bro and her brothers and, and sisters and nieces to know that I did not harm their daughter. And I want her to have a sense of peace. There's been a lot of hate a lot of evil things said, and that's not going to get anybody anywhere. What I want is the justice system to move forward, to put everything out there, and uh, to move forward with my life. Um, Angel is with God now, and I think um, 
saying that she would not she would look down here and not want to see all this hate uh, and strife that's going on. There's no doubt she was a very loving person and she would not want this for any of us.